With only 10 fights under his belt, U.S. Olympic silver medalist Keyshawn Davis has already graduated from prospect to contender. He's steadily approaching a world title opportunity, which many believe is inevitable. And perhaps that's why he's so calm in the ring. In fact, during his ESPN televised debut at Madison Square Garden, he was relaxed enough to wave at the cameras during a clinch. So on this episode of The Breakdown, we'll take a look at Keyshawn Davis' versatile left hand, which he uses to throw stiff jabs, to jab to the body, to feint, and to create openings by extending it. Davis uses a stiff jab throughout his fights, sometimes from a high guard, but usually with his left hand down to invite offense from his opponent. This stiff jab establishes the pace and the tone of the fight, and it lets his opponents know to be wary of whatever comes after. A power jab from Keyshawn Davis and it sets up that one too. Davis is also adept at using this jab on the outside, as he mixes in footwork and defense to deal with aggression. The stiff jab is also used to set up his power shots. Right hand to the body, then came upstairs. As he does here by using a double jab to land the right hand before re-establishing his distance with the left hand. Here he uses the jab to look for the right hand, which he eventually lands with authority. He does it again, but this time from a high guard and to land a right uppercut down the middle. Davis also likes throwing the jab to the body. It's an underutilized tool in boxing, but he uses it with great success. Sometimes he feints a jab to the top before landing the jab to the body. This gets his opponent to think that the jab will go to the head before he quickly switches it to the body. Sometimes he'll go straight for the jab to the body without a feint. He does it here again to close the distance and land more body shots. And sometimes he'll put it all together and mix it up between jabs to the head and jabs to the body. This is a very effective way to set up his offense as he does here by following up with right and left hooks to the head and a right uppercut to the body. You notice that the jab to the body sets up right and left hooks. The change in levels makes it hard for the opponent to predict where the punch is going to be thrown. The jab to the body itself can also cause some damage when thrown powerfully, as it does here and forces Patera to step back and take a breather. Davis is also really good at using feints. A feint is a deceptive action, often imitating a real punch, that prompts a response which can then set up alternative attacks. The objective is to mislead your opponent into believing that you are committing to one action, while in reality you're executing a completely different maneuver. We saw earlier how Davis uses the feint to land the jab to the body, but they can also give you insight into their reactions, which you can then capitalize on. Here Davis notices that when he feints the jab, Albright takes a little step back and drops his left. Dropping his left hand in response to offense is a habit that Davis notices very quickly. So, just a few moments later, he begins to set up the right hand. He starts by feinting, and as expected, Albright drops his left, which allows Davis to come over the top with the right hand. Feinting is an important part of Davis' offense, whether he's coming forward or on the outside. However, he also diversifies his left hand in other, more subtle ways. Sometimes he'll leave his left hand extended and sometimes he'll throw touch jabs. These two can accomplish several things. They can change up the speed and the look of his left hand attack, which makes it harder for opponents to predict when the punch is coming. The extended left hand can also help him control and find range. This allows him to dictate when an exchange will occur. Here he does it on the outside as he tries to avoid the corner. He then mixes in some head movement and a high guard before spinning out to find the center of the ring. Davis also does it when coming forward. At times when he wants to step up his attack, he'll use the extended left hand as a blinder. This blinder temporarily obstructs the vision of his opponent so he can begin letting go of his power shots. The touch jabs work in similar fashion, as he lets go of a few jabs at a slower pace before suddenly changing the speed with power shots. Here we see Davis set up a combination with touch jabs. Immediately after, he firmly places his left hand on Patera's neck. While holding tactics are not allowed, well-skilled boxers know how to briefly hold their opponents in order to land a good punch and to prevent them from countering. Davis lands a hard jab from a shoulder roll stance. Albright comes back with a right hand to the body, but Davis counters with a short right hand. Then, taking advantage of Albright's misstep, Davis firmly places his left hand on Albright's neck, briefly holding him in position for a right hand. Nice right hand! Davis has a toolbox of different maneuvers, 
His toolbox includes a versatile left hand that has helped him as he transitions into a top contender and as he prepares himself for an eventual world title opportunity. The march to the world title begins on Thursday, February 8th against former world champion Jose Pedraza live on ESPN.